of Glamours and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell for more upcoming DIY future videos. For this DIY, I'll be making a coffee table using hard plastic coffee containers. If you would like to find out what I created, just continue watching. To start off, I'll be using 12 coffee containers and I already sanitized them and removed the labels and they are very hard plastic. For the remainder of this DIY, I'll be using my strongest glue sticks. Next, I'll be gluing on the lids on all 12 containers. I'll have a complete list of all items used in the description bar below. Next I'll glue my first three containers stacked together and then I'll continue on the rest so I'll have a set of four. Don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms, link below. Next I'll be using postal board and I'll take my first set of containers and I'll place it on top and then I'll place a marking where I need to cut. I'll take my ruler and draw the line and then I'll use my scissors to cut it out. Next I'll take the postal board and I'll start gluing it around the container. To cover the seam, I'll cover it with clear box tape. For FYI, everything you see me do on the first containers, I'll repeat on the next three containers. Next, I'll be using this metallic silver fabric and it's very shiny and it's also stretchable as well. Next, I took measurements of the container and I'll leave an extra inch so when I start cutting and measuring my fabric, I'll have an extra inch just in case I need it. Next I fold my fabric in half and with this fabric because it is very stretchy you will want to use a pair of sharp scissors. I place a heavy item next to the container so it won't roll over while I start applying my fabric. All I'm doing is applying hot glue and applying my fabric as I go and with stretchy fabric you will always want to stretch it because if you don't stretch it it will bunch up on you. Here I'm just closing the seam and I'm stretching the fabric as I go. Here I'm not worried about if the seam is not straight because I'll be covering it up later on. For the top and bottom hanging fabric all I'm doing is just stretching it and I'm applying hot glue to hold it in place as I go. Once it was done, it doesn't even look like I used fabric and I repeated the same steps on all. Next I'll be using self-adhesive mirror cutouts and I'll be using two on each container. These are very easy to use, just peel and stick and I'll be placing them in the center and they stick very well to this fabric. In the center of each container, I'll be placing one inch round mirror. I'll be gluing strips of diamond wrap on each side of the mirror cutout. Once I took my measurements, I'll be cutting it in the center and I'll have strips of 12 rows of diamond wrap. 
And just for FYI, I applied the hot glue underneath the diamond wrap so it won't be visible. I also added a roll on the back side where the seam is. Next I'll be using four or five inch round mirrors and I'll be removing them from the frames and then I'll take the frames and paint them metallic silver using metallic spray paint. Once they were dry, I put them back together and I glue one on top of each stool. I purchased a glass top from Home Depot. And here is the finished look. I really do love the way this coffee table turned out because it's so easy and inexpensive to create. All I did was create four small pedestals to use them as a coffee table and these you could place them in any pattern you like. These small stools are very easy to move around. You could place them in a straight line, you could place them in all four corners and even in a zigzag pattern. This is an easy and inexpensive way to have a coffee table without having all the drilling and screwing and woodworking. And here are all the DIYs where I use containers to make home decor and I'll have these videos linked below. you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this diy as much as i enjoy creating it now don't forget i post new diy videos every week like and share with family and friends and subscribe if you haven't comment if you wish turn on your notification bells for more upcoming future videos i'll see you on my next diy upload